robot is online. What is up, my little bag? Ah, <coughs> fucking tits! What is up, my little bag? And welcome. Oh, to you bagels some then. Call of Duty gameplay, and today I want to do yet another commentary. Black Ops 3 gameplay slash commentary. Yeah. And this is kind of uh, a week late, Whee! I know, but. It's the only time I was able to do this. So MLG's 100 event, as everybody knows, it was held in <laughs> New Orleans, and it was a hundred thousand for first place, twenty-five thousand each. So if I just go in on Optic because they won it, of course, spoiler, I know, or whatever tits you want to call it. Um, going on it on Optic's run, you know. I was surprised to see Scum had such an average event. Like he, him, no, I'm gonna get shotgun from somewhere. Didn't even need to do anything it. because Karma and Formal were just picking up kills everywhere. And I remember there was one. I think it wasn't on Riot anyway. Uh, might have been yeah, Detroit Airpoint. I think it was. Ready for tasking. And um. Together, Formal and Karma had 48, 49 kills all together, and you just see uh, Prim6 with like 4, and, and Scum had 9. Man, you know, you don't, all Scum needed to do was just fill in the gaps and help out Prim when he needed, and that's what he did. So, going into the first match. They were against Team Infused in group play, and if you don't know who Team Infused are, they are a European team which consists of Marky B, Urban, Zero, and P. And to be honest, I think this is a fairly good match because they really, really, really gave up the game in a run for their money to speak. Um, Infuse bet them on Hardpoint, the first Hardpoint, and then Optic Gaming came back in the Serpent Destroy and won 6 5. It was 5 3 to Infuse, and they choked, sadly. It would have been a nice 2 0. Um, but if Optic lost, or if any team loses their first match in group play, it's so hard to get out because it means that every other match that you play all the three next three matches that you play you have to win them all flawlessly you can't drop a map or anything if it comes down to that but um you know they, they play fairly well in that props to team infuse because they really did put it up to them then next they had to play uh xgn which consists of oh what was it uh, Fizzer, Killer, Felony, and Study. Yeah, that was it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was it. And uh, Optic Gaming bet them 3 1. Of course, this was going on during the whole tournament. Optic Gaming were losing their first power point and winning their SDs. And I was surprised actually because if you look at XGN, they have. Two of the world's best S and D players, yeah, Killer and Fizzer, what? and of course they have Study as well, which is a great S and D player, and Felony, which ah, you know he's he's good in kind of both game types, but I'd say he's more of a respawn type of player. Well, that's what I think, anyway. And Optics Hardpoint was really their weakest, and that's surprising because. If you just look at Optic Gaming and the way they are, they're so dominant in respawn. And you think if teams were able to beat them, it'd be on S and D. And you know, I don't know. S and D. What was it? Uh, Optic went. Uh, what was it? 11, 10, 11, 11 to one. And their ump, up link, ump link, up link. Uh, they went 8 and 2, no, 8 and 1, and then that leaves them um, with the hard point was 9 to 4, so overall they went, no, yeah, he's about to kill a guy, uh, 29 to 6, 
Uh, then next they played uh, TK, which they kind of bet easily a little 3-0 win over them. Moving into Saturday, they were out of group play, but they still kind of wanted to top their pool. So they played Trust, which is Keemstar's team. With which Darkness I YT clan actually kind of now following the what they're doing with trust is really good and Request never know could try and get into it never know um try well I'll try and jump and then wink wink nudge nudge smiley face she wants to be boy I said uh I, I just why do I always say this when he never watches my videos anyway. Newtown. Trust consists of Mochilla, Royalty, Lady and Fears. And of course they bet them Sweet and Trio. And that was their last match in pool bonds and the bet. Then going into bracket play, their first game was against uh, Justice Pro, which was Spacely Envoy I'm trying to think off my head now. Uh Kenny Assault. Uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, they got smashed on the first match. Uh, Optic did, and then of course, being Optic, the rest of the matches they just turned up and bet them. Then they had to play in the winner semi final. They played no! Team Envy, so good old, good old rivalry here, and of course. Uh, Envy made a nice roster change, which finally, finally worked out for them because they came top four in this event. So hopefully we can we can actually see Envy going back to the way they were, coming top four, top five for the next year. Hopefully, but up the game and did 4-0 them, 4-0 uh, Envy. But you know. You can say a lot about the score, to be honest. You could say uh, Optic bet them 4 0, but it could have been all close Ray, matches. Inbound. Could have been what? He's two, doing it for obesity. Point, two up links, one round in SD. You never know. You Robot never really know target. until you're watching. Moving on to Sunday then. Optic are in the winner's final against Elevate, which Elevate had a really, really good team and they bet phase. So, you know, props to them. They're a really good team. Of course, they bet Elevate, but they lost their oh my first God, man. hard point. They were, Optic were up 60 points, I think, and they choked, and they choked that match, but they, they, came, they came back and won the rest of the games and beat them 4-1. And then in the Grand Finals, uh, I thought it was going to be Optic Gaming versus Elevate, but it was actually... Uh, against Denial and Elevate got third, so you know that that's good because you can see that Elevate has such a good team. But I don't think they're gonna do well in Black Ops 3 to be honest because all their players basically broke out in AW. You never, you never know, you never know, you never know, you never, know. You never, know. You never really know. Of course, Optic had to play Denial and the best them. So they were crowned the best, uh, Optic were crowned the best team in Advanced Warfare and yeah, they kind of deserved it and hopefully you'll see Envy, I'm not an actual like full on Envy fanboy or anything but I really hope that Envy, Elevate, Denial and FaZe all do really good because they are all such high caliber teams and have such high caliber raw skill on this team and hopefully Nature comes back I think we might see the return of Rambo maybe Big Timer might be and TP will be so yeah that's it guys like, subscribe and peace